References allow you to create subgroups of charges for a client. When printing a report or bill, you can select slips by reference and sort and subtotal charges by reference. This training video will show you the basics of creating new references. In this example, we will add references for Client Hopper. From the navigator, switch to the Manage Names topic and open the client list. Select Client Hopper from the client list. From the toolbar, click Client References to open the Client References dialog box where you can view references for each client. The open page will list the references for the current client. Client Hopper does not have any references yet. Click New to create a new reference. In Sage Time Slips, you can use two nicknames to identify references throughout the application. You can use either nickname on the data entry and report screens. In this example, we will use Spring V Hopper as the primary nickname. In this example, we will use Hopper-001 as the secondary nickname. We will add one more reference for Hopper. Click New to save the current reference and create a new one. In this example, we will use Palmer vs. Hopper as the primary nickname. In this example, we will use Hopper-002 as the secondary nickname. Click OK to accept the new reference. The two new references appear on the references list. You can also set up options for each client to determine how they use references. For example, you can indicate if this client also uses references from a template client. This makes it easy to maintain a list of global references that every client can use. You can also use auto format rules for nicknames if you need to ensure reference nicknames follow a specific naming convention. In this example, we will not set up formatting rules. When creating references, if you leave the nickname to blank, Sage Timeslips can assign a number automatically. When entering slips for this client, you can specify a default reference to use automatically on the slip. In this example, we will use Palmer vs. Hopper on new slips, but you can change this reference on slips as needed. When entering slips for this client, you can make the reference field required. This means that new slips cannot be saved for this client unless a reference is selected. When you have finished entering reference settings, click OK to save your changes. Notice that global references now appear on the reference list.